the story before, but I said I might as well tell it. So we might as well, you might as well talk about it because it's it's good to remember things. It's good to look back on things, and um, especially because I thought this was a very positive thing, and then still, you know, I think about it. I still think about it every once in a while. Um, and this is county councillor Woods. Uh, this person still a county councillor Woods. She's not from. She's not from Calvin. She's from a different um, county. Uh, I'm not going to say, obviously, but um, you know, she's really, she's really, she struck me as a really, really nice, um, person, really friendly person, um, um, very interested in your who your what I was doing and the volunteer work I do. Very interested, um, and as she said, you know, something that as she said is lacking in politics and Irish politics. Um, and as she even said herself, um, you know, these politicians, as she, and as he, I use her words, um, these politicians we have in the door, in the, in the Shannon, as she said, you know, they wouldn't know anything about voluntary work. They wouldn't know anything. Like, and this is what she said. Um, and she said, you know, I admire people who go out and, you know, use their, you know, you do their best to do what they can for their village or whatever the voluntary work they do. Um, and she said, that shows a good politician. That shows. And a, and a quote, and this is something, you know, that shocked me to this day and this day I remembered. She said, that shows that they're not interested in the money. Um, and that's what she said about me. She said, you, I know by looking at you, you're not interested in the money. You're not interested in wealth. You know, you are, you're in it to get something done. You're in it to get change, you know, in regards to legal Dublin and things like that. And she said it. She said, you 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 are somebody that wants change in local communities, you know, to make communities better, to make your community life better. Um, she said that's something that you, you can see because again she said you know I would be entitled to get money for equipment and things like that and I said you know why should I ask the government to give me a grant for equipment and still to this day I refuse to go and ask um, to get equipment off the council I get a, I get bags off the council rubbish bags but that's about it um, nothing else is given to us you know, from the council um, to me because I, well, I refuse to ask and refuse to ask the taxpayer of Calvin to pay for equipment that I need because again at the end of the day I have my you know, I have a few bob and you know, I I buy it myself um and give it to the local man who has a local shop. Um so you know and that's what that's what she said at the time you know she didn't obviously know that that I buy you know, I said I don't get money off them, you know, the local towers, things like that. Um you know, for equipment and things like that. But she didn't know that I go you know, out of my way to buy equipment and things like that. But yeah, uh, she said, you know, it goes to show you and this is the thing and this is the thing that still struck me. That it shows that you don't care about money, that you are genuinely care about people and care about communities and care about the well being of society. Um and she said that's what's up that's something that's lacking in government and lacking in local authorities. People who are on the ground, people who know your know, community issues, community these you know, again sees it first hand, sees it with their own eyes and not in an office. As she said Oh, you know, the county councillors with her are, are nearly an officers and they don't understand outside. You know, again, as she, she more or less said, you know, they don't see outside their office. They don't see the hardship outside their offices and outside the mansions. And more or less, that's what she said. They don't see what's happening face to face. Um, and they don't understand it. They really can't understand in their head what it's it because they think about money, they think about themselves. Um, and as she said, you strike me as somebody, as you strike me as somebody that does you really, really care, and it's not enough for the money. Um, and it's just a down-to-earth person that really wants change in this community, really wants to make the communities better, um, really wants to make them more, you know, um, how would I put it, friendly to the environment, more nice and more clean. Um, and that's something that she said that's very commendable, because again, as she said, you know, there's very few, I'm sure if we look through Dollar or Shannon there, I highly doubt there's ever been one person who gives up a day of their time to do a bit of work. I hardly don't even why any of them gives up any 10 minutes of their time to go out and do a bit of work um, in helping their community or helping a community out. Um, and as she said, that's something that will stand, you know, that stands to people, that you know, you're willing to do the hard work. Because again, what I'm doing, and like at the time I wasn't doing it, but you know, lifting dog shit now and everything. Uh, I wonder what she would take of that, because she said, this is not clean work. This is not sitting in an office clean work. Um, easy money in the hot in the hot office looking at it into a cup looking at the mugs down into a cup, um, you know this is hard work this is difficult, um, and as she you know she, again I admire her for you know um because I was kind of I have to say you know I was very, because again she is with a government party now at the moment, um but I was absolutely surprised I really have to say that I was surprised because she came out with this 
because obviously somebody told her she did was talking to somebody about me and you know and they must have said you know about me who I was and what what, what I was about um and she you know she was very and I have to say she's very impressed and she's still very impressed in what I do um and obviously you know, it was been very very kind that she even said it herself you know if the if the world if there's a lot more people like you you know a lot more things to be done and our communities would be a lot better and a lot more cleaner and a lot more healthier places and a lot more safer places to be. Um, and that's what she said, more or less, and that's really it. And then we talked for a few minutes about different things. But, you know, we still, I still remember that because that was, that was extremely high praise to give to somebody. Um, and as she said, and this is something that I, you know, I always knew myself because, again, at the end of the day, I'm like my father. My father's the same. As long as I have enough money, have enough money you know, to pay the bills, you know, a, a, a little bit of the end of the week, treat you extra at the end of the week for, you know, anything, you know, anything, like, for example, just to give to somebody or uh, things like that, um, I'd be happy enough, you know, again, I'd be happy enough, I'm not going to whinge if I don't have the money uh, for things, you know, I can cut back on things that I'm not too, you know, again, it, does, it really doesn't matter, as long as I have enough to get by, you get, again, as long as, as, long as I can get a bit of food, a bit of TV, you know, um, a small bit of your know, cup of tea and things like that, um, at the end of the day, I'm not really too fussed. I'm not really too fussed to having a big match and your know, cow. I couldn't be asked. <laughs> it's not that I because again, you know some of the people in my class they care about just showing off and saying to the friends, look at the cow, I have a house and this that. You know, I couldn't give a damn. I might as well say it straight. Um, I care about bringing change, and this is something too. I look on. Um, I care about bringing change to the communities, and I'm sure people can see because again. Um, you know, no matter, I don't know what I, I have to say, like, you know, over the last, you know, six years, nearly 5,000 hours and 30 times, like, you know, I don't know how you could say that you don't care about the environment, because, you know, I genuinely do care, and I don't think anybody could ever say that about me, to be honest, because... You know, I really have put in a huge amount of my time, a huge amount of my strength, because it has weakened me over time, I have to say. Um, because, again, putting in a huge amount of efforts and huge time and huge effort um, takes a lot of your strength. It takes a lot of mental strain, too. Um, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of... You know, it takes a lot of you, out of you. But at the end of the day, it is watered. In my opinion, it's very, very watered. Because you're doing your best. You're helping out your community. You're helping people out. You're doing your best for your county. And that's all that matters. So cheers to that. Um, but yeah, it struck me. It really, really struck me. Again, I was very... You know, sometimes when I'm talking to people, I'm not that speechless. Um, but I have to say, I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. Um, so yeah, it's a good place from that county council. But, uh, but that's about two years ago. That's about two years ago now. Uh, but still, she's a very good person, I have to say. Um, especially because, you know, there's some county councillors that wouldn't be seen near me. I might as well say straight. Um, because they're like, oh, he's... Um, World Walker, the <laughs> whole them, we're too busy in a high society spikers bondholders, you know them, um, and they're too high and mighty. Let them be high and mighty if they want to be high and mighty. But their day will come where they be kicked out of office, and guess who'd be high and mighty then? The people. Very good.